Here is some advice I have copied down from the women's magazine Cosmopolitan. If your boyfriend wants a blow job and you don't want to give it to him, make him get down on all fours and bark like a dog for it. Maybe he'll leave you and get married a year later to someone who is younger but uglier than you. Here are 12 dresses perfect for crashing their reception, 11 orgasm sounds you won't be faking for him again. Here are 10 ways in which you will be dying alone. The seventh way is getting eaten by cats. Don't forget to get up early and brush your teeth because your new boyfriend likes morning sex, but not morning breath. Here are nine ways to seduce a man while you sleep. Eight pairs of shoes you can't walk in and can't afford. Here are seven ways to slim your stomach in seven minutes a day or less. They all involve suffering and lycra. If your boyfriend likes anal sex and you don't like giving it to him, consider saving your nail clippings and hair trimmings and constructing an elaborately detailed clay golem version of yourself. <laughs> Since golems have no nerve endings, the golem version of you will have no problem giving your man what he wants and you can sneak in an extra spin class while he fucks her. <gasps> don't get jealous. If you find yourself getting jealous of the affection your boyfriend showers on the clay golem version of yourself, drown that bitch in the bathtub. If your boyfriend discovers you drowning the clay golem version of yourself in the bathtub, tell him you are making a relaxing mud bath to help tone skin and reduce cellulite. If he keeps asking questions, drown him too. Here are six ways you look better than you in every pair of jeans you own. Five tips on hiding both of their bodies. Here are four things to remind you that your ex is still married and his wife is pregnant and they're going to have a beautiful fucking baby and what do they even talk about and you are going to die alone and get eaten by cats? <laughs> Don't forget that your life is slowly ticking away second by second and you have chosen to use this time to tweeze your fucking eyebrows. Don't forget that eyebrows are a privilege. You should justify you taking up space and breathing the way you do by being attractive. Here are three ways to rip your heart out of your own chest and eat it rather than letting it rot inside of you. Two ways to be born and you lucky girls were born for this and one way to Pose for the cover of the magazine. Shoulders back, neck long. Look into the camera and think, God, when they're done with me, everything's gonna be perfect. Oh.